What's up guys, welcome to iFix Tech. Today we have a 30 years old laptop. We are going to open and review this old technology. We are going to see this all component and compare with what we have today. Here we go. So we have this IBM ThinkPad from 1994. Yeah, compared with today's computer, it looks weird. On the left side, you will see the on and on switch. Going to the right side, you can find the internet card. Yeah, before it was like a card that you were able to insert on the computer. On this one, it's um, a data fax modem with 14.4 kbps. By that time, that was really fast. And going to the side, you will find the PS to mouse connector looking from the back side we can find different port basically at that time all the ports that you may need we see the parallel port serial vga etc and also here we see the 4 pin 20 volt charger adapters this bring a lot of memories mic and headset jack sports back then computer has like those little clamps where basically you need to release them in order to open the screen and even though is three year old you can see the resemblance on today's team packs it's like still you have that thing but appearance testing the keys me personally I love the old keyboard sounds. Every key strokes is just amazing. Today, a lot of people looking for these sounds on their keyboard. And this is how you were able to control the screen brightness back then. And of course, we have the old floppy disk. A bunch of likes on the screen basically indicating everything. And now it's time to open this dinosaur. So much computer from that time were really easy to open up. Basically you have two clamps, two buttons on each side and just pull off the keyboard and that's it. The computer is already open. It's exposed. You can see all the components inside. First of all, we're gonna start removing the floppy disk breather. It was pretty easy before it has like a clamp that you just pull all the way up and that's it. It was already out. And it is very compact though okay putting this aside we take a look at the inside and wow here i think this looks like the cmos battery here looks like the ram with a lot of chips maybe the ram this is where the floppy disk is connected basically we are seeing the motherboard here now let's remove the battery as you can see it's a very unique design it has an on and off button an on and off switch and uh, yeah i mean the design to be three years old is not that crazy and uh, you see the pins where it connects removing this, i think this is the hard drive yeah it's a little heavy but applying some force you should be able to remove it and taking a look at this hard drive was a unique design you can tell it was 540 megabyte hey by that time that was a lot It has this, I have no idea what this for. If you know, leave it down in the comment. Let me know what was this thing for. And just taking a look at the computer itself, that was it. As you can see in the left, basically that's the whole thing. Let's put everything back, same way, but just in reverse. I put it in and just push all the wind down. The battery itself, here you see that on and off switch. Basically, if you don't, uh, if you didn't want any person to play with your computer, just turn off this switch. Putting back the floppy disk, it's a little tricky, but putting and pushing all the wind down should do the trick. Same thing for closing, just let the keyboard go down, apply some pressure and it should be closed. And I know that looking at it now, it might look like a very simple design, very simple laptop, but 30 years ago, this computer was a monster. 
thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video like me i really love bringing back some memory with this 30 years old ibm theme pack don't forget to leave me your like and subscribe if you have any question leave it down in the comment and i'll do my best to respond i will see you in the next video Thank you.